Welcome to You Are Not A Goat. If you want to follow your passion and do what you love, this is the podcast for you. Without further ado, here's your host, Slimy Zions. Hello and welcome to another awesome episode of You Are Not A Goat. My name is Shlemy Zayats and I am your host. Welcome back to the show. I need to start off with some gratitude. I'm thankful to God for giving me life and my wife and my daughter, my family and friends, and for you guys, the listeners of the podcast. I hope that I'm able to inspire you and to get you to get moving and do some good stuff in your life. So thank you for being here. Thank you for listening. Thank you for telling your friends about it. Thank you for sharing. The podcast is growing. We have listeners in many, many countries. Maybe next week I will share the full list of countries. It's wild. I think there's people on like every continent. Anyhow, this week is a short episode. I am traveling again, and I did not have the time or ability to get a guest and do a proper interview. So it's just going to be me rambling about something that I think you will be interested in. We're going to talk about bucket lists. So what is a bucket list? Well, I'm glad you asked. A bucket list is a list of things you want to do before you kick the bucket. In other words, it's a list of things you want to do before you die. Many people write bucket lists. I have a bucket list. What is the value, what is the importance of writing a bucket list? So let's get right into it. I don't know the exact statistic, but there is a statistic out there. Again, I don't have uh, access to it right now, but I think what it is is the statistic goes like this. People who write down their goals are twice as likely to achieve their goals than people who don't write them down. So what that says is that when you write down a goal, you're turning it from just a concept to a work in progress. It's something you've already started because you write it down. And if you write it down, you're serious about it. That's why you want to make a list of things that you want to do in your lifetime. Life is short. You know, people get hit by cars. People have heart attacks. People get illnesses. One can never know what's going to happen. That's why it's important, wherever you are in life, just to start making a list of things you want to accomplish before you die. And you never know when that is going to be. That's why you want to try to accomplish it as soon as possible. Um, there's actually a movie called The Bucket List, which is a very interesting movie. Now, I'm not telling you to watch that movie. I don't think you should watch that movie, actually. I haven't watched the movie in almost seven years, and I don't think you should. Um, I'm not really against movies. It's just I don't watch them because I have an addictive personality, and if I get started, they'll never end. So I stopped watching movies. However, if you are someone who does watch movies... Maybe you should watch The Bucket List because it's about two men. One of them is a rich guy who spent his whole life making money and never really following his passions. The other one's about a a poor mechanic who never had money to follow his passions. And they both get sick with cancer, God forbid, and they both end up in the same hotel room. Sorry, same hospital room. And once they realize that they're going to die and they both haven't accomplished what they wanted to do in life, the rich guy basically treats the poor guy to the trip of a lifetime where they go and accomplish all the things that have been on their bucket lists. And I found it very inspiring. And since then, I started keeping a bucket list. So now, I'm not telling you to watch the movie. Please don't. But if you are someone who watches movies anyway, that's a much more productive movie for you to watch than the other garbage that you might be putting into your head. So, on a personal note, I started keeping a bucket list after I watched the movie called The Bucket List. My bucket list had some weird things on it, like I wanted to own an old Volkswagen Beetle. I wanted to spend a night in the most expensive hotel in the world. I wanted to get married. I wanted to have a child or children. I wanted to finish the Talmud. Um, I have gotten married and I had a child. I still haven't finished the Talmud, still haven't gone to that hotel in Dubai, and I still don't have that Volkswagen Beetle, but I am on the way to doing these things. Actually, this week, just yesterday, 
I completed an item off my bucket list, which I've been working on for three full years. And that is very exciting. You cannot even imagine the feeling, you know, how good it feels when you do something that you've been working on for a long, long time. And that's why, again, it's so important to keep track of your goals because every day as you go through life, you know, advertisements are being shown to you, you're hearing new stories, getting new inspiration, and you always want to take action. But if you don't write it down and you don't make a little bit of an effort to remember your inspiration or your aspirations, then what's going to happen is you're going to forget about it. That's why you need to write it down. You need to get yourself a bucket list. And when you get yourself a bucket list, you're moving this goal from I want to to I'm going to. You understand? It's a change in the way you perceive that goal. It's not like I want to do this. It's I'm going to do this. And another great tip is to make deadlines on your bucket list. Like it's okay to tell yourself, I'm going to accomplish this goal and I'm going to accomplish it by a certain date. I remember the first time I did this, I was probably 15 or 16 years old. And I told myself that within three years, I'm going to go to Uman for Rosh Hashanah. I know it's funny. You might be laughing at me, but that was my goal. And it didn't take three years. It took two. I saved up the money. I convinced my parents to let me go. And I went. That was the first time I traveled internationally outside of U.S. and Canada. And it changed my life. Since then, I've gotten bitten by this travel bug. And I travel at least, at least once a month, very often two or three times a month. So... Just taking that step and telling myself I am going to do this no matter what really changed the way I live. And once again, get yourself a bucket list. You will not regret it. Another thing is when you're a child, very often you'll have all sorts of dreams like you'll tell yourself you'll be a policeman or a fireman or you're going to have a, you know, you're just going to buy yourself tons of candy or you'll have a certain car or certain toys and then when you as you grow older you see like you know that was stupid I don't really care about that so it's okay to take things off your bucket list as well but you should never take something off because you think it's too hard or it's impossible to achieve rather if you feel you've grown out of something or something is not important to you anymore you can take it off your list but never take something off your list if you actually really want to do it and you can't stop thinking about it all I can say is Get yourself a bucket list, start writing down your goals, and you'll be surprised at how quickly these things can materialize. Once you start it, you'll be unstoppable. Write down those goals, start trying to fulfill them, and you'll see the impossible become reality. I promise you, this is legit. I've done it. Many others have done it. And one day, you might even come back to thank me for giving you this information. So looking forward to all of you guys starting your own bucket lists. By the way, I forgot to mention, there are websites out there. I think there's one called bucketlist.org. There used to be another one called 43 Things. Um, these are bucket list websites where people have put their bucket lists up publicly. And so you can go to the site, you can create a bucket list, and it'll give you like every an option where every time you complete an item on your bucket list, you can check it off. And it's like a sort of a social network. You can share it with your friends, and people will like your, you know, every time you complete a item on your bucket list someone will like it um, you can also go there for inspiration to find things to put on your bucket list and I want to hear from you guys like if any of you come up with any cool stuff that you're putting on your bucket list let me know I want to hear what it is one of my goals is to visit 50 countries throughout the world I want to visit every continent I want to visit all 50 states you know so I just want to hear what you guys are up to what you guys are planning and that would be really nice uh, maybe next week we'll share some bucket list ideas that people submitted and you guys should be sharing the podcast. Have you told your friends about this podcast? Have you told your family about this podcast? Have you told your coworkers about this podcast? This podcast is awesome. It's not me that says so. Many people say so. Just go read the reviews on our iTunes page. Speaking of reviews, have you left a review? Please do. If you haven't, just leave a review. It takes about 30 seconds. It will help the show grow, and you can win a gift card. So you have nothing to lose by leaving a review. This week's review comes from Lewis. Lewis says, I listen to You Are Not A Goat every week, and it has changed my life. I am more motivated, and I am more inspired, and I am starting my own business in the near future. Thank you, Lewis. Thank you for leaving that review. 
That is awesome. I'm so glad that you're starting your own business. Keep it up. I wish you much success and contact me to get your gift card. For all the rest of you, if you've not yet left a review, please leave one on the iTunes page or wherever you listen to your podcasts. If I read your review on the show, I will give you a gift card. Please like this podcast, subscribe to the podcast, tell your friends about it, share it. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, both the podcast YouTube channel and my personal channel, Shlomi Zayats. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, at Chusidel, that's C-H-U-S-I-D-E-L, and also the You Are Not A Goat social media pages at You Are Not A Goat. You can contact me on any of those platforms. I read every single message, and I will get back to you, God willing. Thank you so much again for listening, for sharing, for liking, subscribing, and telling the world about it. I wouldn't do it without you guys, and we'll see you all next week. You are not a goat. The podcast for you.